All right, welcome to my Chapter 2 Season 4 Mythic Items Review Video. So at the start of every match, four Quinjets buzz by the Battle Bus and crash land on the map. You can see them right here. They look like big white pigeons. Always four of them, and they land in semi-random locations. So right now there's one up here. There's one right here. Here. And here. Four of them. You can also see them by the blue smoke. So there are four mythic items in the game currently. I'm going to show you all four. We're going to test and do reviews on all of them. But first I have to show you how to get them. Okay, so when you make it to one of these Quinjets, you'll notice that there's drones flying around. This is how you acquire some of the mythic items. So you literally have to shoot the drones down. And if you're lucky, they will drop a mythic item. Now you also have to be aware of these robots because they will try to laser you with their awesome assault rifles. So they don't always drop mythic weapons. As you can see, sometimes you get semi-rare weapons as well. But almost always, you should have at least one mythic weapon per jet. Or two. Or two sometimes, we'll see. So I guess this just confirms that they don't always spawn because I did not get one at all from this jet. Now, as I said, these robots do drop the new Stark Industries energy rifle, but this is not exactly a mythic weapon. I think you can even upgrade this. Yeah, you can. I got a purple one. And in addition, there are some supply caches in here which don't require you to scan them, so that's pretty sweet. And as far as I know, you don't get mythic weapons out of them. The only way to get mythic weapons from these crash jets are to shoot the supply drones down. Okay, so the next location for a mythic weapon is in Doom's Domain, aka Pleasant Park. So inside this giant Doctor Doom castle is Doctor Doom himself. Now you gotta watch out, he's tough. Jack tells me he's super tough. Here's his throne right here. Uh, I will show you where else he can spawn. Wow, he's already trying to blow the whole kit. Oh my god, he's right there. He is a tough cookie. I'm coming! Don't die! Oh wow, he literally almost killed me. That's how powerful this is. Look at him, glowing hands and all. So when you extinguish this beast, you will get both his mythic items. Doctor Doom's mythical bomb as well as Doctor Doom's arcane gauntlets. Two separate mythic items. Now there's also the key card obviously and the vault is down below where the helicopter spawns. Sometimes he spawns down though. Does he? Yeah. So Jack tells me sometimes he does spawn down in the basement. Once I saw him down there. I'm gonna have to confirm that in another match. Okay so first of all as you can see, there are multiple mythics on the map. So if you swear you saw two people with Silver Surface board, that's probably true. Because as you can see, there are two in my inventory. Jack collected both of these from two jets. So first of all, let's review this one. This is Silver Surface board. It says launch into the air and carve up the skies with Silver Surface board. Reactivate to cancel early. So let me just show you what this does. Jack, I'll give you one in just a second. Okay. Basically, you hit the fire button and it launches you and deploys your glider. How sweet is that? And then after it's done, you have a 25 second cooldown. Now, as you saw, it basically put the timer on both of them. So you can't abuse this, even if you do have two. So Jack, let me drop that and you pick that one up. Now, I want to see it from Jack's perspective. So when it recharges, let's see what happens. It's already charged. Oh, so you can see it literally launches him and then you get Silver Surfer's board and you can fly down. So this is great in two ways because let me show you how this can work. Take me all the way up, Jack. I'm going to deploy this in midair to avoid fall damage. So let's say you're on a chopper, someone shoots your chopper down, and then I launch out. I can hit it anytime I want and avoid death. How yeah, awesome is that? Jack just bailed out too. You can clearly see. They, uh, you might want to kill my friend. He's Your friend? Up. What friend? My henchman. Jackie, why do you have bots following you? There's only one. No way. I if, only I, if I kill him, can I hack him as well? I think so. Or I think, no, I... Oh, no, he dropped dead, Fred. So since launch pads were also vaulted, this is basically... A launch pad. A permanent launch pad, but it does have a 25 second cooldown. So you can still use the launch pad method, i.e. building up and then get to the top and then just launch off, just like a launch pad. So it's super useful, one of my favorite items in the game. Like I said, it's basically a permanent launch pad 
just with a 25 second cooldown. Absolutely incredible mythic item there. They knocked me down. So watch out for sky bases if someone possesses one of these, because this is how they get away. Just like that. Okay, so next up is Dr. Doom's Arcane Gauntlets. And this says, harness the power of Dr. Doom, fire mystical energy projectiles from your fingertips. Exert dominance over gravity with an otherworldly leap. So as you can see on the left, it says X, in air, arcane jump. So basically you can double tap X to get a gravity boost. It looks like you fly. It works like what? It looks like you flying. Oh, yes. So this has a hidden cooldown as well. I'm not real sure how long it is. We're going to time it in just a second. So hold on. Let me get down here. Unlike the other items that actually show you the cooldown, like I said, this one is pretty much invisible. So I'm going to wait till the timer hits 45, and then I'm going to jump right there. And we'll see how long until I can jump again. So I'm just going to keep spamming X until it lets me jump again. All right, so 10 seconds. It let me jump again at 35. So from 45 to 35, obviously, it's got a hidden 10-second cooldown. So you can't just spam it left and right and expect it to work. It's just every 10 seconds. Now let's just test real quick if it works on a helicopter. Jack, take me up, please. So I'm assuming this works just like the Silver Surfer's board, that I can activate it anytime. Let's see. So I'm just going to do it midair. Let's see if it negates fall damage. Yes, 100%. Even after it essentially wore off, it still negates fall damage. Now, one thing I have to note, you have to be on the icon for this to work. For example, if I'm on the small shield and I double tap X, it doesn't work. You literally have to be on the arcane gauntlets for it to work. So this is actually a souped up version of Silver Surfers because not only can you avoid fall damage, but you can do damage as well. So this is the alternative feature to it. You just be on the icon and you shoot. And basically you spam these green blobs of projectile, which is an infinite amount. And that's why people are saying this is overpowered because it never runs out and it's just super, super fast. It's almost like a pump shotgun fast. That's how fast it fires. So let's see how much damage this does. Jack, what's your health right now? 100, 100. So he's got 200 health. I'm gonna direct hit him right in the chest. What did that do, 35? Okay, now let me see if headshots do anything. No. So it's a raw 35 damage. Stay there, Jack. I want to hit you from a distance and see if that matters. Here we go. It's kind of hard to hit because it does have an arc. Did you see how low that went? Yes, I saw Jackie. It missed. So 35 from all ranges, I think. Let me just back up a little more. Super hard to hit from this range. you got to aim up quite a bit. Too high there. But like I said, it's unlimited. That hit me. 35. Okay, heal up a minute. So put up some builds, Jack. Just put up builds all over real quick. Spam it all over. Watch how easy it is to take builds out with this thing. I mean, if you hit them, it destroys it. That's another reason people are saying this is super overpowered. You can just spam this. Now imagine this in duos. If someone's just spamming this while their teammate is shooting you as well, it's super, super powerful. So next up, I'm going to test splash damage with this. So if I shoot far away from Jack, will it still hit him? That didn't hit him. Let's move in a little bit. Nope. A little bit more. Nope. Yep. That is some insane splash damage. You don't have to hit anywhere near him for it to work. Let me show you one more time. A little over to the right. A little more. There you go. That is the distance. Stay right there, though, Jack. Let me just show. So it was about right here. Look at this. This is the splash damage range. It's super, super long. And not to mention, you can use the double jump and fire as well. So while you're in air, you can fire with that. FBI. Uh, what do you have for health? Uh, 95. You don't have any more shield? 100. No. Okay, so next up is Dr. Doom's Mythical Bomb. And this one says, conjure and throw a large ball of arcane energy that explodes on impact. So this one is unique in that you can charge it up and hold it like one of Goku's spirit bombs. And when you hit anything, it'll catch on fire. Wow, that destroyed the tree. Jack, put up a bunch of walls real quick. Okay. Uh, I, was, I meant wood, but let's see. Do you have any wood? So this one also has a cooldown timer. See if we can do it again real quick. 
but it essentially catches things that it doesn't destroy on fire. So here you go, you can literally run around with this giant ball of green and launch it, and you see, the splash damage catches things on fire. Insane. Alright, Jack, I want you to hit me dead on with this. Wait a minute, hold on. So I have 190 health, I want you to aim it right at me. Are you sure it's on me? Like, aim right at me, because it kind of arcs a little bit. Okay, hit me. What did that say? I can't see. Okay. Hit me again. I wasn't looking either. Oh, cool, done. We're at about 130 health right now. Hit me. So I think that did 61 damage. Jack, hit me again with it real quick. So I'm at 68. This should tell me exactly how much. Yeah, so that did 61 damage. That's how much the giant ball does. That's absolutely incredible. Okay, so we have to end this match now, unfortunately. So I'll do some more testing. Oh, you butthead, Jackie. We'll do some more testing in the next match. So 61, and he's going to dance on me. 61 damage for the giant ball, but we didn't get to test splash damage. And there's one more other mythic weapon in the game, which I'm going to show you as well. Avengers fight. Who would win? She-Hulk or Thor, Jackie? Thor. Nope, wrong answer. I'm the Hulk, bro. Didn't the Hulk beat Thor in the Thor movie? Remember when they fought in the ring? Actually, wait. Who did win that? Hulk was winning uh, for a minute, and then, then Thor went won. crazy and bamboozled him. All right, so as you can see, Jack was correct. Dr. Doom can spawn down below. There he is creeping right there. Just bank a few things in his face, see if he likes that. Oh, he did. He's running like a sissy Barbie girl. Hey, brother. Easy, easy, easy with your spirit bomb. Oh, he's got... Oh, my God, that ricocheted me right off the wall. You better hobble away, you butthead. I got some minis. So, look at the shadow, Jack. Look at the shadow right there. Do you see me? I'm literally <laughs> holding an invisible ball. So I'm going to try to aim... Wait, uh, look at it. Look at it on... Oh, that looks cool. I'm going to aim to the left of Jack and see if it hits him still. It looked like a big, wide effect. That clearly missed him, but stay right there, Jack. I'm going to aim a little bit closer. Right about there. And we'll see if this works. I bet this is going to look awesome at night. Look how much it's I glow. Alright, so if my calculations are correct, hitting right here should hit him for hopefully 60 damage. Let's see. You're at 100 to 100? Mm -hmm. So you should go down to 40 shield if I hit this. All right, ready? Boom. And, wait, it knocked you away? So regardless if you hit him directly or not, let me just do one more. I'm going to hit you dead on this time. It will do 60 damage. And as you saw, the splash radius is huge. Just as you would anticipate from this massive ball. And remember, this thing can be lugged around with you. There's no penalty for holding it like this. And it does cause extreme fire damage. Look at that. Everything will catch fire in the radius that you struck. So used in conjunction with the other Doctor Doom item, you can see how much havoc you can cause. You can literally spray infinitely with this one and then toss a big Kamehameha spirit ball at people, burn the whole place down, and continue your onslaught for the 20 second duration while the other one recharges. It's super strong, in my opinion. I don't want to say overpowered, but trust me, I've died multiple times to this, and it's quite frustrating. But remember, you can throw it anywhere near things, and it should catch on fire. I caught myself on fire there, as a matter of fact. And this is what the fly effect looks like, as you saw. That's cool. We'll see you. I want to see you do it again. Let me stand right next to you. All right, go ahead and blast off. Oh, it damaged me. Wait a minute, give, give it back a second. So Jack has 128 health right now. I'm going to launch near his face and see what happens. Did that damage you? Yeah, it only does health damage. So Jack has 53 health and 50 shield. Here we go. It only does health damage. Okay, so... I've concluded that it does 25 damage if someone gets hit by your boost effect, which is boom, right there, that green effect. 25 damage, and then it's 35 damage if you get hit by this. So that's crazy. If you boost anywhere near someone, it will literally do damage to them.
That's awesome. All right, so those are the two Doctor Doom mythics. We have one more mythic in the game, and it's called Groot's Bramble Shield. And it says, be enveloped in Groot's embrace, block incoming damage, and heal nearby players. Reactivate to cancel early, I am Groot. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. So first of all, I wanna show that it heals you. Second of all, I wanna see if it heals enemies. Clearly, it would heal teammates, but... So I have 73 health, and when you do it, it ticks by 20. So you see I jumped to 93, and then that. So it heals by 20 per tick, and then once the ball deactivates, you have to wait 25 seconds. So now that we know it heals by 20, let's see if it can heal enemies. So Jack currently has 28 HP. I'm gonna get into the ball and go near him. And he is not getting healed. It does not heal enemies. Interesting. I need healed. Okay, so Jack currently has 118 health. 50 shield, 68 health. I'm gonna see if this damages him. We're gonna get into the ball and we're gonna run him over. Did that do any? Nope. Okay, so a lot of people have been telling me that it does damage, but as you saw there, nothing. It just ricocheted him. Let me try to run you over again. Stay right there, stay right there. Because I imagine if you're going full speed and you hit him, he could do fall damage. Let's see. I'm going to go full speed here. Nope. Yeah, you can basically bounce around in him. All right, try to eat me. You missed. I missed or you missed? Uh, you missed. What? How did I miss? Next, let me test how long it actually lasts, because I'm not real sure. Go. Let's see how Guess long what it lasts. I did to my friend. Did you eat him? Uh, it like uh, teleports him. So it lasts six seconds. That's an odd amount of time. Six seconds. Four right, seconds. Let's go up to the circle a little bit. Actually, here. Let me drop it. Tell me if you can use it right away. Don't use it, but just tell me. Yes. Okay, so when an enemy picks it up, it completely resets the time. Wait a minute. Okay, give it, give it back real quick. Okay, so I'm going to use it and then drop it. All right, so as you saw there, the timer actually still stays, so you can't abuse it. Okay, take it back. Now just hold it, activate it, hold it, and I'm going to shoot you. I want to see if you can break it. Don't let it go, okay? Don't let it go. Ah, okay, so it did have some health. Did you see that, Jack? Yeah. How much health did it have there? I, I couldn't see. Okay, drop it again, and I'll use it, and you shoot me one time and tell me what it says. Can you see the health? All right, hit it one time. Okay, so it only has 100 health. I thought it was invincible. Yeah, so that's what happens when you break it. You can get it to one and three lives. All right, here you go. You can have it back a minute. Do I do pickaxe wars? Uh, actually, pickaxe wars. Actually, um, you know what? Give it back real quick. I want to test something else. So as you saw, you can also cancel it at any time. I want to see if it negates fall damage. I think so. You think so? So wait, go down to the bottom and chop me down. Not yet, though. Hold on, hold on. Come on, win. So I'm clearly at death height here. So Jack's going to chop me down, and I'm going to use the Groot Ball before I fall. So let's see if we can use it in air, first of all. Yeet. Yes. So no fall damage. Yes. So all these okay. mythic items negate fall damage. That's crazy. And you can also jump with it. Whee! What the? Did you see that? You want to fly. So I think that's about it for Groot's Bramble. It's good to get away. It's pretty fast. It only lasts six seconds. It does not damage your enemies. It ricochets them, but no damage. And it heals you and teammates 20 health every other second. So you can get about 60 health before it expires. Not bad. But mostly it's a getaway defensive mechanism. You can jump, you can roll faster, and you can absorb 100 damage before it breaks. Okay, so before I end this video, I just wanted to see what this fire trap does. Yeah, can I do it to you? You have one? Yeah. I just okay, got so, it. yep, put it on. Let's see what it does. So, this is the fire trap. I'm going to walk right into it. Let's see what happens. It's I'm at crazy. 100, 100. Is it? Yeah. 50 it just, damage? It just sends stuff on fire, too. Okay, so I'm going to go in here and see if it hits all the walls. Wow. And if you stand here, does it fire again? I think oh jeez, so. that damage. Oh man. That is potent. Look at that. That could do some serious damage, but of course, I could just heal up here. This should give me full health. Can yeet Jack into the storm a little bit. Hey! See, full health already. That's not bad. Alright, so I think that's all there is to it. There's four mythic items again Dr. Doom's Arcane Gauntlets, the Mythical Bomb the Groot's Bramble Shield, and the Silver Surfer item. Let me know in the comments which one your favorite is, 
and which one you think is the most overpowered. They're all useful. Definitely all useful, definitely all fun. You can use them in a variety of ways as I've showed you. They're not as overpowered as some of the prior weapons such as the shockwave or the grappler or the drum gun, but they're all pretty unique. If anything, I would say these Dr. Doom ones are a little on the strong side. They may need just a slight adjustment. That's my own personal opinion though. Until you've ran into two people running these, both at the same time, you don't know what you're up against. I mean, it is intimidating and hard to counter. That's all there is to it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is TaborTap. Think you can beat me, Jackie? Oh, nice flick. Not gonna happen, big fella. No, I tried Let's to go! use I tried to use the ball to get out of it. No. How much health did you have? Ten? You cute me, Jackie? You're lucky. Lucky. GG's, Jackie. GG's.